Hey guys, it's Suzette from A New York and Think Kitchen. Welcome. Today, um, I want to go back old school with this whole thing with, you know, Sazon. I was on my food truck, actually, believe it or not, and I ran out of my Sazon. And I'm like, oh my God, what am I going to do? And I remembered that I had um, achote because I use it to make um, pasteles. So I said, oh my God, I forgot that we could even do this. Because back in the day, I don't know if you guys remember, um, my grandmother, this is how she used to make her rice red. There was no such thing as uh, sazon and all this stuff that we use now. She used to do the achote with oil and it's really simple. And the great thing about it is that it has nothing in it but oil and achote. And you just can jar it up. This is already the finished product and it's gonna make your rice red. What really gives your food flavor is sofrito. It's all about the sofrito, guys. So, go back to my video, check out the sofrito video so you can make that because really, this is so simple. And to show you how delicious it's gonna come out, I decided to make arroz con salchicha. I don't know if anybody likes this, but this is one of my favorites. So I'll show you how everything is done. Basically, what you're gonna need is a natto seed, okay, and oil. So I'm doing three cups of oil and one cup of the annatto seed. Okay, and I'm gonna show you how to um, make that and then just jar it up and you can keep it out in your cupboard with your oil. Um, you wanna use vegetable oil, not olive oil. You can use canola oil as well, that'll work. So let's go to the stove and show you how it's done. Okay guys, so what I did is I have a saucepan you don't want to use any wooden spoons because annatto seeds, it's a coloring, so it's going to discolor things. So you want to use a metal spoon, metal pot, and you're going to cook this on a low temperature because this can burn. And you want to stir it occasionally until you get the color of redness that you want. So I started it for times, you know, save time. So what I did was I put three cups of vegetable oil and one cup of mayonnaise seed. Now, I know it's not easy for some people. I live in New York, so you can pretty much find everything here. If you're not in New York, you can definitely find annatto seeds online. I bought it online before in bulk because I make a lot of pasteles. So sometimes I don't even, I can't even find enough. So you can buy it. So you see how the color is getting nice and red, guys? That's what you want. You don't want this to burn. You want to, I have an electric stove and I have it on low. It takes a little while, but really not that long. You just want to mix it because it is bubbling a little bit, even on low, because it's been on a while. So you see how that red color is coming through? That's what's gonna make your rice the coloring. You really don't need the sazon. We're going back, with, you know, old school. And this is how my abuela used to make it. Uh, just like sofrito, you know, you didn't do that ahead of time. She used to make it every day in her pilon. And we used to keep this. And this is how I learned how to cook. I never even used sazon. So it was so funny that it was just an accident that I ran out of sazon and I was freaking out because I had to um, make rice for my food truck. And I'm like, what am I gonna do? Thank God I remembered the old school way and I had some from pasteles. So it really worked out really well. And when I tasted the rice, I was like, oh damn, I forgot how good it was. It really is amazing. So when I was learning how to make pasteles, my Didi Olga told me, take a paper towel. This was her trick to me, to know when your achote was ready. And she would say, pour a little bit on your paper towel. I'm gonna put it over here so you can see. And when that color was red like that, see how that nice red color is coming through? It was ready. Because you don't, again, you can burn this. So you wanna be real careful. And I promise you guys, this probably took five minutes to do and you can make a bigger batch and just store it in a mason jar in an old, let it cool down. Um, strain the annatto seeds, you don't want that in there. And you can put it in an old oil bottle or a mason jar, which is what I did. So once the color is good, which I think it is, you're gonna remove it from the heat and you're gonna let that cool down. Okay, and then you can store it um, for later use. Let's move on to the rice so I can show you how great that looks. And when you taste it, I promise you, you're not gonna miss us on ever again. Now that we've done our annatto seeds with the oil and we have sofrito. Now guys, I know you can't find everything. I know a lot of people are like, I can't find everything. I don't care if you just use garlic, 
um, peppers, onions, and if you could find cilantro, and if you could find the Italian uh, uh, green pepper, it's better than using anything store-bought. I promise you, it's gonna taste way better. I know you don't have all the ingredients that I put in the sofrito, but if you have those, that's gonna make a world of a difference to your rice. Okay, so we're gonna use this. I'm gonna use two cans of the Vienna sausages. They come in different varieties. I, I use this kind, you can use whatever you want. And if you don't like Vienna sausages, you know, put beans into this recipe or put corn, whatever you want. Um, it, the, the recipe is gonna stay the same, so you can add anything you want to this, okay? So I drained the liquid out of the Vienna sausages, okay? So we're gonna go ahead. So we're gonna use one third of our oil and you wanna put this on a medium heat when you're making your rice to start. So I'm gonna do one third of my oil, okay? One third. Now when I make, um, Vienna sausage in my rice. I do not use olives. Some people do if you like, you can. Remember, I'm just a guide. You guys can do whatever you like to do. I also know that some people put tomato sauce in their rice. I don't, I just don't happen to like it. Um, so we're gonna take our sofrito and we're gonna put two tablespoons, you know, heaping. I'm gonna put two tablespoons in there heaping and we're gonna cook this down, remember? my other videos so you want to cook now if you want to add more sofrito you can because you know what I feel like adding more sofrito right about now I'm gonna add a little bit more so we're gonna let that cook so you see how before we used to put the sazon and the oil and our sofrito now you just add your um, your oil that's already infused with the annatto seed which is going to give your rice the color that you're looking for and I'm cooking two cups of rice today so I'm gonna, I have this on high, that's gonna sizzle and cook down. And that's what we wanna do. We wanna cook our sofrito down. Okay guys, see how the sofrito is cooking? Again, it's on a medium to high heat, okay? So we wanna cook that down and it's smelling divine. Yes, it's good sofrito. Now the beauty of using the annatto seed, like as we put in the rice, we may have to add a little bit more coloring if you want it redder. Not a problem, you can do that. Now, I use long grain rice, and I do get the question a lot, if they can use medium grain rice, is it the same amount of water? And the answer is yes, you can. I do not rinse my rice, that was another debate. I just don't, um, there's no need for it. Back in the day there was, because there were deposits in it, not anymore. Um, so I'm going to put in my two cups of rice, okay? I'm gonna put in my two cans of salchicha. Now, some people cut them, I don't because as you're moving the rice, it kind of chops itself, you know, it'll chop up. And what you want to do is you want to put four cups of hot water. Okay, so I'm going to add my four cups of water. Okay. So there we go, guys. Now, do you see how I still want it to be a little bit more red, actually? So you can start off with the uh, third cup. But you can make it a little bit better, and that's okay. But you see the color? Look at that. See how you don't need sasson? Buy sasson. Okay, so I did add a little bit more liquid, but that's okay, it'll be fine. Okay, so we're gonna cook this up, and let's not forget our salt. Again, I use kosher salt, as you guys know. Just happen to like it better. So if you are using kosher salt, you have to be careful, because kosher salt tends to be on the salty, uh, salty yard. So I, I'm gonna put in a little bit there, and of course we have to taste. Make sure, now remember, when you're making your rice, it must, it should be slightly salty. So I'm gonna add a little bit more. And now even tasting this, like, you know, people are like, oh, Sasson, you can't even taste the fact that it's lacking that because it's all about the sofrito. That's really what's making your rice taste delicious. Okay, I think it's good, salt-wise. So again, guys, we don't want to touch this. So this is gonna come to a boil, and when it dries up, that's when you're gonna turn it, cover it, and lower it. I know you're tempted to touch it. Don't, let it, let it, let it do its thing. Promise you, it will be perfect. Okay, so this is gonna boil, come to a boil. We're going, again, medium-high heat. Come to a boil, then we're gonna mix it. 
So you see how it's all the water is absorbing? Okay, you see the red color? So say goodbye. Say goodbye to Sussan. Unnecessary. We're gonna go old school how our boy I used to do it. So what I wanna do is I want to, what I usually do is I kinda pile it into a little mound. Okay? And I'm going to lower the heat. You're gonna put that on low. And you're going to cover it. And you're going to let, do not uncover it, do not mix it. Um, you're gonna keep that covered for 15 minutes. Uncover, mix, cover again, another 15 minutes, and your rice will be done and nice and fluffy. Okay guys, so the rice has been cooking for 15 minutes. See how that is? And you see how the sausage have already broken up just from me mixing it. That was it. So that's why you don't have to really cut them if you don't want to. Just mixing it kind of cuts up the, and you can cut it in here. So we're gonna cook it for another 10 minutes or so until the rice is soft and then you are done. Okay guys, this is the finished product, arroz con salchicha. It is one of my favorites and my son can't wait to get his hands on that. So that's finished and look at how beautiful that is. No sazon. This was completely by accident for me because I forgot that this is how I originally started before Sasson even happened. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Please like and follow me on Instagram, Facebook. You can visit my uh, webpage, newyorkandthings.com. You can pick up some spices that I make. And I'll see you guys soon. Happy cooking.